Welcome back to Real Pastors, Real Pastors Reviews, and we've got another 4K review for you today. And yeah. Efren, I know both of us, but I have been waiting on this one for quite a while. Mm -hmm. uh, we are reviewing the 4K release of Dune. Of course, we both got it. Dang right. Um, I had the pleasure of watching this last night for the first time. Those mm -hmm. of you that have been uh, on our channel for a little bit know that I was not able to see this in theaters. It escaped me. Life mm -hmm. got in the way, blah, 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 blah. And so I blind bought it, blind buy it, whatever which you I, call it. Which I want to say I'm very excited that you did, which one tells me what a good job I did talking about this movie, that you were willing to blind buy it because neither one of us like to blind buy movies. I don't. Uh, yeah. ne neither one of us like to do that unless it's highly recommended. And uh, so kudos to you, sir, for, well, for, yes, for yes. one, doing it because I know how hard that is. And uh, thanks for trusting me. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you, you got a good track record there. So um, I took the took you know took a chance, blind bought it, and I am very much glad I did, mm. um, because this was an experience last night. Um, this was uh, this movie was epic in scale. It was uh, everything everything people have said about it. I, I 100 percent agree. It mm -hmm. was, you know. It was an experience, and yeah. I can't imagine what it would have been like on the big screen mm -hmm. as much as I enjoyed it in my living room, 65-inch LG TV. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, do you mm -hmm. mind? I know we do, uh, we're do. we reviewing the 4Ks here because you've already reviewed the movie. Do you mind if I say a few things about the movie since I haven't? Yeah, I was actually hoping that you would because okay. um, they've heard yeah. my thoughts, even though it's yeah. quick thoughts, but let's hear yours yeah. since you finally were able it, to experience this movie. This um, – I'm sitting there and I'm watching it and keep in mind, uh, I am home with COVID. I have not slept much. Um, last night I was very much sleep deprived, but I was going to watch this movie, uh, last night, extremely exhausted, not feeling well. And I'm watching this movie and it kept my attention. Um, that's a compliment to the movie, you know? Yeah. And I thought to myself this morning, if I liked that movie that much last night, feeling the way I did as tired as I was, I can't wait to rewatch it when I'm normal or mm -hmm. normal. Um, it is rare to see something that is such a big spectacle and to have these grand scenes and still be character driven. Mm -hmm. And when I saw the trailer for this, I was worried that it was just going to be all, all these cast members and all these big scenes, and all these shots, but we're not going to know much about the characters. And it, that wasn't the case at all. It did a great mm -hmm. job blending both. And yeah. um, I really enjoyed it. And I am really excited to see this continued. Um, it, it's making me because I'm sitting there watching it. I'm like, you know, this is a movie that five years ago, six years ago, I wouldn't have liked. I would have thought, oh, that's slow. That's boring. Um, right. So it's making me kind of go back and re want to rewatch, especially since I have time the next week and a half. Uh, <laughs> some old sci fi movies that I maybe watched and didn't appreciate, like Stargate, uh, Blade mm -hmm. Runner, um, you know, stuff like that. And then, you know, uh, this director, uh, Denise Denvozem, I can't pronounce his last name. Yeah, Vill uh, Villanueva. He, Villanueva, yeah. He's directed like some that. really good movies that I've liked. Prisoners, um, mm -hmm. Sicario, and I watched Arrival this morning. Um, mm -hmm. really How'd you like that? You very, like that? Very much. And it was interesting because I was like, I was like, what are some sci-fi movies that I need to go back and rewatch because of this movie? Because mm -hmm. maybe I'll appreciate them more. Blade Runner came to mind. And then, and then fun fact, this guy directed the Blade Runner sequel, Blade Runner 429 or 2049. Oh. So, Whatever, yeah. Oh, yeah, so at some point I'll watch that um, in my time this week. So, so anyway, I say all that to say I really liked it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and this um, I know, and I know. Yeah, I've been talking it up to you. Everyone's heard it. If you saw our video on the uh, best of twenty twenty one, it was my number two, um, which um, you know, again, theater experience and all that. And then, so being able to see it at home on four K. Um, first of all, I'm glad to get this on 4k. I will always be glad when something still comes out on, on, uh, on physical media, but, um, of course. Yeah. But so being able to finally get our hands on it, I will say, uh, just quick side note, um, Best Buy has a steelbook copy that looks freaking phenomenal, but we just have to be, we have to be picky because you know, finances, but, um, but it is, it, so if you have the finances and you want to buy this, get your hands, if you can get your hands on the steelbook cause it's sweet looking. Um, but yeah, so being able to see this on the 4K and have all the setup, um, I'm I'm going to talk first from the sound perspective because I got a surround sound setup. 
um, things like that. Gary, unfortunately, does not have that yet. I'm trying to get him on board. Yeah. I'm trying to get him on board. Um, it's on the to-do list. Yeah, but um, but yeah, dude. But on the sound of this, like I think I was telling you, like it it was very with these 4K discs, especially with the newer movies. I haven't noticed it so much in older movies, but with the newer movies, it's pretty darn close to like what would happen in the theater if you have a good 4K receiver that would push, uh, you know, um, the Dolby True, uh, the Dolby Atmos, and uh, mm-hmm. or Dolby True HD, whatever you end up having. If you have something like that. Man, it sounds so good. It really makes it feel like you're in the room with these characters because you're hearing all the noises all around. And everything's really crystal clear, which I really appreciate. Even when things are going loud and boom, which this movie doesn't have a whole lot of loud and boom. But when it has it and characters are talking, you can still hear it very clearly, which in a lot of movies in the past, even unlike with... Unlike Tenet. <laughs> yeah, unlike Tenet. Which, side note, I watched Tenet the other night again because mm-hmm. I haven't actually got to watch it because when I got the 4K and... Uh, the sound's actually a little bit better with 4K and surround sound. Still a problem, but a little oh, bit better. Right um, so, but yeah, but the sound on this, man, I, it's mixed well. It's great. You can hear everything perfectly clearly, the surround, the way it works. Um, so I'm really impressed because, like I said, not all 4K disc, especially when they do uh, remastered versions of old movies, um, mm-hmm. not all 4K disc do well with the sound. It's like they focus on the visuals yeah. um, more so than the sound, the sound mix. And um, so it's good to see... With newer movies, because Venom did this very well. Venom, Let There Be Carnage, did it very well also. And then uh, Dune has a very good uh, mix as well. And it just sounds great. It sounds so good. And I can, and I, what I like is I can tell the difference between the, between the Dolby, you know, True HD or Dolby Atmos, whatever. I think this one comes with Atmos. Um, I'm looking at it real quick because I know it's on here somewhere. I saw it. But, um, yes. Dolby. Yeah, Dolby Atmos. There it is. Yeah. So Dolby Vision and Atmos and all that. I mean, you can tell. And it sounds great. And, uh, and I truly love it. And this is why, Gary, I want to get you hooked up with Surround Sound so you can enjoy these movies even more, even though you're watching just uh, yeah. on, a, on our TVs. Yeah, down the down the road, my wife doesn't know this yet, that is the next upgrade, our sound. Because mm-hmm. I don't know a whole lot about it, but hearing you talk about it, reading about it, I was like, okay, I need to experience these. If I want to experience movies the right way, mm-hmm. then invest in some sound stuff. Um, Hans Zimmer uh, did this movie. And uh, mm-hmm. so no surprise why it was really good. Um, speaking of sound, I was downstairs watching it last night, and uh, Megan was upstairs laying down. The kids were asleep, and you know the scene where the lady is presenting the dagger, and, yes. uh, and she then makes a really loud sound. I get mm-hmm. it. You know the the TV speaker just like echoed that scene, and all yeah. of a sudden my wife, what the heck was that? <laughs> I just wrote like a lady had a knife, <laughs> but it's okay. It was a gift. <laughs> Nuts. She just went to bed after that. <laughs> good, good. But uh, yeah, I definitely. Um, I mean, picture quality. You know, I'm a big picture quality mm-hmm. guy. Uh, I like to go back and forth on picture settings and see. You know, in some some movies, you kind of have have to tinker with it a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Uh, not at this one. Um, I had it set on Cinema Home last night, mm-hmm. and uh, that might be my new go to because it looked fantastic. Um, it looked like a movie, like not in a bad way if that makes sense yeah and it looked uh sharp and all this right you know the desert scenes were magnificent yeah on the tv and i can't imagine what they would look like on a big screen mm-hmm. but uh but yeah so movie was shot very well sounds great um i recommend definitely picking this up and mm-hmm. this is a rarity i'm gonna say blind buy if you haven't seen it mm-hmm. I, I can give you a blind buy guarantee if you blind buy it and don't like it well sorry whatever yeah oh. <laughs> you know take take it back or take something back, i guess or but, sell it on ebay somebody will yeah. buy it so definitely worthy for the shelf i haven't did you have you had a chance to check out special features uh, i have not done special features the movie's so dang long uh you yeah. know it's, it's almost three hours um it was 11 yeah. 30 by the time i was done last night my wife watched it she enjoyed the parts that she stayed awake for um <laughs> Which is which is good because normally slower movies like this, like slow burn type movies, mm-hmm. isn't her thing. Uh, which is weird because also too much action isn't her thing. She's she's weird. But somewhere anyways, in the okay. yeah, she's, she's more of the someone in the middle. And there's not a whole lot of good movies that sit in the middle. So that's why it's a shock to me. She likes movies. Um, but anyways, uh, but like, um, but yeah. So I haven't got a chance to watch it yet. But I will because I would like to see a lot more about how this was done, how this was shot. Because some of it, I'm like were y'all literally in a desert? Like, cause it was just like, just the way some of this stuff is. So I would love to see um, some of that. I haven't checked it out. Um, but no, cause normally special features, they don't have, 
like all the great like 4k-ness and sound and stuff obviously that's all more so for the actual movie um yeah. but like but this does i mean it's talking about it says it has an over an hour bonus features on yeah. this thing on the Something blu-ray called, um a new soundscape is a feature so that should be interesting with the sound yeah which even me talking about that. So that was, you know, yeah. So there's a lot here. The only complaint I have, and I kind of had this complaint with any um, new movie that comes out. The only real complaint I have is um, when you have a movie like Dune that came out in IMAX, like if you're going to give us a 4K, give us the IMAX version. Um, Venom Let There Be Carnage did this mm-hmm. and I loved it. The I, the IMAX ratio. So when I have my, you have your 65, I got my 70. When we got these big oh, screens. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. So when we have these big screens, I, listen, I have to because for the longest time, Gary's TV was bigger than mine. <laughs> so there, there it is. Do what you can. Do what you can. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but like we have these big screen TVs and, and it's like the widescreen, like I get like the white, but our TVs are in widescreen. Fill it up. Yeah. You know, like give us that IMAX. That, and that is my only complaint, especially a movie like this, man. Like give us that IMAX. And some movies do it. Some movies don't. Um, that's just one that I just wish that these studios, Warner Brothers, man, like give us give us the IMAX is, ratio. Surprised me that Warner Brothers didn't do it because they, they just did it with Batman versus Superman. They just mm-hmm. did it with the Justice League. And right. they did it with the Dark Knight and the Dark Knight Rises back in the day. So I'm kind of surprised they didn't do it with something – like this and, and maybe yeah. they're thinking down the road a cash grab they'll release the imax copy or whatever maybe. you know who knows studios think who knows but, yeah i mean i'll, I'll buy it <laughs> yeah i know right <laughs> well, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah because like you were saying this is epic in scale and yeah. great like there's just so much like give us the imax version like you yeah. know a lot of people especially people like us who are buying this we have these big screen tvs the mm-hmm. big screen, yeah, the, whatever size they are, they're in that 16-9 ratio for the most part, you know? Like, mm-hmm. give us the IMAX version. Fill up our screens. That's yeah. really my only complaint about it. Um, and it'll, again, it'll continue to be a complaint. That's probably why I love watch Venom Let There Be Carnage a lot more because it gave us that aspect. Pacific Rim is another one, and that was in Blu-ray. Also, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure, yeah, also Warner Brothers. Yeah. Came in the ice pack ratio. Filled up when I had up at the time of projector. Filled up the projector. Felt like I was at the movies. Oh, do that especially with movies like this man like i get it like court the kurt warner movie un- american underdog yeah i don't need the imax of that that's fine <laughs> yeah. you know but something like dune come on man that's that's my yeah. only complaint yeah I'm, I'm right there with you on that for sure um let's get the best version possible you know if you want us to mm-hmm. continue to buy these things which i mean let's be real we're gonna get me and you're gonna <laughs> yeah. continue to buy them but, we are you know um but uh, one thing I wanted to say also, I just thought of, you talk about the runtime. It is a long movie at two hours, 35 minutes. But mm-hmm. last night, as tired as I was, I didn't feel the runtime. I didn't feel it. Um, yeah. It uh, it was really well. Um, and uh, yeah. Because yeah. you are. You're so invested in these characters, which makes part of the grandness of this movie. Because, yes, you had the star. I mean, okay, again, look at that cover. Yeah. All right, this is a star. I mean, it's a star-studded cast for the most part, right? And like everyone played their part well, everyone did what they had to do, and they did a great job with it, no matter how small or how big their part was, mm-hmm. um, which just really helps with the whole story and everything that's happening. And it just looks, it looks great. Even the uh, the main dude uh, right here, Timothy, Timothy, whatever how you say his name, yeah. Chalamet. Timothy um, even Chalamet, that, yeah, yeah. Even my wife, she was just like. He's like, man, for a kid, he's a yeah. he's a pretty good actor. And I was like, yeah, he is. I haven't seen him in anything else, but I'm like, yeah, he's done a great job. Timothy Chalamet. Let's see. I'm pulling up the IMDb machine. He he's not he's done a lot of independent stuff that hasn't been oh, okay. here on our radar. Nothing again independent movie, but stuff that we haven't really seen. Um, yeah, but, yeah, uh, pretty much. Uh, and I was thinking his character could have been so annoying, mm-hmm. so easily, but it wasn't. It was very yeah. well done. Mm-hmm. Um. So check out Noon. Um, I watched some reviews last night afterward, and people were kind of, back when this came out. People were concerned that enough people wouldn't see this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, so, if you haven't seen this movie, uh, check it out. We need to yeah. support great stuff like this, and this is a yeah. great movie. So yeah, we're definitely worth the blind buy if you're if you're a person who is um, who is a collector of physical media like we are. Um, Mm -hmm. needs to be on your shelf blind buy it Um, if you're not a collector if you're very picky you just want certain movies uh, rent it wherever you know just so you know just let the studios know hey this is good quality movie stuff that we want to see more of Um, rent it or whatever first and then if you like it then buy it Um, 
you know, if, if the yeah. blind buy thing doesn't work for you. But yeah, definitely highly recommend. They did a good job with this 4K, Th- the sound, the visuals, everything's great. Um, you know, obviously, for me, I wish they had the IMAX version, the IMAX ratio on it, but um, still wouldn't deter me from buying this. So yeah, highly cool. recommend. Well, check it out. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, did you watch Dune? Do you have the 4K? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you have not subscribed, come on, what are you doing? Subscribe yeah. to us. Be one of the 190, 191, I think, or we're approaching yeah. 200. There was a day we didn't think we'd make 50. Now we're heading to 200. Not one brag, but it feels good. Thanks we're for excited. subscribing, folks. Yeah, thanks and, for supporting uh, us. Thanks for joining us on yeah. this journey. And uh, we're going to be doing this hopefully for a long time. And uh, I, I as long as they keep else. making movies. so Yeah, and I got nothing else to do. So here we are. Yeah. Here I am. All right. See you, folks. See you.